For this tutorial, you will need the elastic lace, some stretchable fabric. I'm going to use a four-way stretch mesh polyester, soft lining fabric for the gusset, the pico elastic, the rings and the sliders, the elastic for the straps, some needles to pin the fabric, the scissors, the threads which are matching your fabric and the elastic, the lighter, the piece of chalk to outline the pattern, and the pattern you'll find the link in the description box below. Fold the lace in half and make sure that the scallops are matching each other. Then place the pattern on the scallops edge, outline everything with the chalk and after cut it off. Fold your fabric in half. On top of the fold, place the pattern. Outline everything with the piece of chalk and after cut it off. Grab the front elements and place one on top of the other. Then grab the lace gusset and place it face to face on top of the front elements. After, grab the lining fabric and with the face up, place it under. Pin it with the needles. After, open the gusset and roll the front element this way. Next, grab the back element and with the face up, place it on top of the lining fabric. Roll the back element inside, take the lace gusset and place it on top of the back element face to face to each other. Place the back elements face to face to each other. Pin them with the needles. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here, here, and here. Turn the panties on the opposite side. Grab the scissors and cut off the threads. Grab the lace back element and fold the seam on one of the sides. After, pin this place with the needles. Now go to the sewing machine and sew here. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Place the lace element on top of the fabric and pin it with the needles. Go to your sewing machine and sew here.
if you want, you can keep a double layer of the fabric, but if you don't want, you can cut it off. And here I'm going to show you how to do it. Grab the pico elastic and sew it on here. Place the elastic on top of the fabric face to face to each other. Elastic also has a right side and the wrong one. Basically, you need to place a right side to the right side. After, sew it here. When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric. You stretch a little bit only the elastic. Check the elastic everywhere, and if you see some fabric is coming out, then grab the scissors and trim this place. But make sure do not cut the elastic. Pull the elastic this way, and sew here. When you finish to sew on the elastic, it should look this way. Fold the panties face to face to each other and align the side seams. Grab the lighter and melt the elastic. Stick it together. This will prevent your elastic from sliding while you are sewing. Do the same on the other side. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here. When you start to sew the side seams, always start with the elastic. Place the elastic under the needles and put the needles down on top of the elastic. and start sewing. This way your elastic will stay on the same level. Now grab the elastic again and sew it on here and here. This is the front element and this is the back element. Make sure to push the side seam to the back element of the panties. Pin it with the needle. Do exactly the same on the other side. Now grab the elastic again 
and sew it on. Here. Here and here. In this place here and here, keep the free space of the elastic, I'll say around 2-3 cm to sew on the straps later. This is what I meant by saying keep the free space of the elastic. Now it's time to prepare the straps. For this just grab the elastic and place it here. Plus add a little bit for the sliders and cut two straps like this. We will need one more strap for the front element. Grab the lighter and burn the ends of the elastic. Grab the slider and put the elastic inside. Do the same with the other straps. Go to your sewing machine and sew here. When you start to sew, make sure that there is no any metal object like a slider under your needle. Grab the ring and put the elastic inside of the ring. Take the same end of the elastic and put it inside of the slider. Do the same with the other straps. Next grab the ring and put the elastic inside of the ring. Go to your sewing machine and sew here. Now grab the strap and put the elastic of the panties inside of the ring. Pin it with the needle. Do the same with the other straps. Go to your sewing machine and sew everywhere where you have the needles. Cut 
cut off the leftover of the elastic. Then grab the lighter and eliminate the leftover of the threads and the fluffiness of the elastic. Next, grab the needle and the thread and then block the thread exactly the same way like you see me doing here. Push the side seam to the back element, grab all the layers of the elastic and put the needle into the loop. Keep sewing this way. When you finish to sew on top, sew here on the side as well. The principle of sewing is exactly the same. You just grab a little bit of the elastic and the side seam and you put the needle into the loop. Keep sewing this way until the end of the elastic. 